Hey, Divine Feminine. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tears. Today, we delving into... Damn. You see how my car just been like that? Like, for real. I couldn't even do my intro, Divine Fem. Because, for real, the hair font, either you pass some type of spiritual lesson... Or is somebody all in your energy that want a higher commitment with you? The bottom deck is the Ten of Wands. So, look, something is coming in of spiritual proportion. Like, something, you know, definitely important. Been in my damn car like that. <laughs> so, look, um, this can play out past, present, and future. So, take it how it resonates if it resonates for you, okay? We're just delving into your energy. Like, I want to know what's going on with Divine Femme, okay? So, that's what we're delving into. Remember, um, any and everything that has to do with myself or the channel will be down below in the description box. I want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support of any kind to the brand as well as the channel is greatly appreciated. Remember, you can always check out um, my playlist if you want to check out other Divine Feminine reads or Zodiac reads. Um, it's a plethora of readings there for you to take advantage of, okay? So, Spirit, let's go ahead and delve into Divine Feminine's energy today, please, and thank you. Okay, Seven of Wands. I feel like you're just trying to hold it together, Divine Fem. You're being very protective of your energy right now. Uh, whatever it is that you give, you're looking to have equal give and take. But I feel like you're really um, being particular with your energy right now, more than ever, okay? And it's because you've probably been let down in the past, you know, where you've given a lot to others that haven't given much to you in return. And I mean, I'm not getting at you the type of person that really wants you know, like gives in order to have something back. Like you're not really looking for something back. But at the same time, I do feel as though you're tired of getting the short end of the stick with the death, with the death card here. I feel like something here is coming to an end. The fact that you've been a little sad. Okay. You're tired of being sad. You're tired of being disappointed. All right, with the hermit card here, you could have just chose to withdraw from people, places, things. And there's the Hierophant. There go my card that got bent earlier. You're going within. I feel like you're really triggered into another spiritual awakening as, as if you haven't already been through enough, right? Let's see. Five of Wands, okay. Something is about to come towards you, Divine Feminine, and it's very unexpected. Damn near tower energy, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, I don't like this. With the Judgment card here. Oh, okay. Well, it's not as scary as I thought, okay? It is like a judgment being passed, something being put to rest. That's more so what it is, okay? Let me see page of pentacles something is presented though that's the thing and it kind of catches you off guard i damn near thought like it was a loss in money or like you could be like focused on your finances like you could be afraid of a financial loss okay like you trying to plan ahead you're trying to um like you it's something in you divine feminine that's hurt you know and it's, it's stemming from these relationships that you've consistently been let down in, okay? And you almost worried. It's like a fear that these things will trickle over into your security that you have for yourself. You know, now you're trying to dot all your I's and cross all your T's, you know? And it's a sense of paranoia in a way, you know? Queen of Pentacles here. That's why I said you could be focusing on your home life, your stability, your children, and then still going out and getting that bag or finding ways to produce um, opportunities for abundance, you know, to secure your abundance. Some of you all are like entrepreneurs. You run your own business. You find a new marketing strategies, okay, that are coming towards you. Look, you're coming in as the empress, okay? I feel like Divine Film, this is your read. Talk about your finances, your security, you know. I'm over here smiling for you. Wow. Divine film, your emperor finna pop up on your ass. Look, 
You was all mad and shit. Look, sad squirrel. But Seb, you a leaf right here. So I don't know if you smoking, you know, in your zone or what. But here come divine masculine. You looking at all your connections and stuff. Divine fam, like this make me blush for you. Because I feel like something sweet finna happen for you. And I feel like you deserve it, like for sure. Eight of swords, you in your head, you know, about a new beginning. Like you like, man, I don't like the way this going. You know, you're looking at all your options. You're looking at your relationships and you're just like, damn. And you feeling like, you know, you're not going to throw in the towel. But some of y'all feeling hungry, first of all. So go ahead and treat yourself today, Divine Fam. I feel like you're going to be spending some time with your Divine Masculine real soon. Could even be today. Let's see what's behind here. What's hidden? Four of Pentacles, is that this masculine is holding on to you? I mean, this could be holding back or holding on. But why would it be hidden that they're holding back? I mean, that's the most obvious thing, isn't it? So, using that logic, we would know that this is holding on to. Both of these characters look pretty suspenseful and pretty happy. And it's just, you know, this mug damn near howling at the moon at night. You thinking this person ain't, because on the outside, it do look like they holding back. Because this is a very reserved masculine, you know? And on the outside, it do look like they holding back and they reserved and they could go days without talking to you and things like that. No, Divine Fam. This masculine ain't been holding on all this time. We about to delve deeper because I want to know, okay? First, let's get your energy. And then we'll delve into moving forward in this scenario, okay? So let's see. What is Divine Feminine's energy? And I want to see how Divine Masculine views Divine Feminine. No, that's too much. We can look underneath here. We have the Divine Mother, okay? Unconditional love exists within me. Unconditional love was it exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. And there we have a judgment right here. You could be judging the fact that you feel like this masculine ain't on shit. They about to surprise you, divine fam. Let's pull their energy first. How do the ma divine masculine... You know, my deck just want to fly all everywhere. My deck want to be in divine fam. It's a lot of energy behind this, okay? So we have... Layla, the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. So Divine Feminine, um, this masculine could be talking you into existence. I feel like there's an energy of manifesting you. I guess I'm going to just read these cards that fell on the floor. We have Lady of the Lotus Born. I'm not even going to try to butcher that name, but you see it. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. Damn, this masculine has some type of strong attachment to you that's unconditional loving. Like, they view you as somebody that's loving un and unconditional. Like, you love them unconditional. Um, there is a high priestess energy here, though. I am one with my soul, and my soul is a legacy of love. Divine Feminine, if that don't look like holding on, I mean, t I don't know. I don't know what you're looking for if that don't look like this divine masculine is holding on to you, okay? That's all giving. I'm not saying anything about it. High priestess energy, for sure. But I'm holding on to you. And you just over here sitting, don't know shit. Look, looking all pretty, looking all handsome. Because you could be a, a male or a female in this yin energy, okay? And this masculine could be a male or a female, okay? Take it how it resonates. But it's just saying that this person is in a masculine, action-oriented energy. And they are pursuing the divine feminine, which is you. Okay? So how do you view yourself? How do divine feminine view their self? The queen of saintly women, I am in service of divine love. So you feel like you're in service to the divine, okay? I move the way love asks me to move. So you like, you're not holding no grudges or anything like that. But at the same time... You know, you could just be like, God, I'm just going where you blow me. You know, Allah, whatever your religion and spiritual background is, you saying, look, wherever the, the wind blows me, that's where I'm going to go, you know. 
Something here is in reverse. It's the prophetess of the sacred way. My heart is a compass. The path of love is true abundance, but it's in reverse. You could be in doubt. That's what I'm saying. You're in doubt of this right now. Damn. And, and it's even an energy of you're in doubt if you could pull this in. Like, this masculine energy could damn near hire you. I'm not getting, like, a deep doubt. But, like, you're doubting them. And it's kind of going over to, like, why they not pursuing me, though? Like, you know, if you get lost in that thought, smash the like button if that's you. Take it how it resonates. But here we have the mother of God. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. So at the end of the day, you recognize like, but I'm blessed. I'm thankful, you know, for what I have, for this relationship, for all the experiences in my life to be alive. You know, I feel like Divine Femme, you're very grateful. And because of that, you will receive abundance. Because of that, this masculine is coming in towards you because you embody the Empress energy. And likewise, what would satisfy the Emperor but the Empress? Okay. Let's not get brand new. But Isis here is in reverse. Let's see. Uh, sexual energy is sacred. My pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life. You haven't, it's been a little bit, or you haven't recently had sex with this masculine, okay? And it says, I have the power to make each movement sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. So I feel like y'all are about to sleep together. There's some sexual animosity here between y'all divine feminine and i'm gonna be honest shit smash that like button if that resonates for you okay but it is sexual tension between the two of y'all and i feel like since the last time you know um this masculine about to pop up do some type of romantic gesture for you and i feel like y'all gonna get it cracking so moving forward we got the star card Okay, the apple in my eye, the empress, right? You just don't know how much this masculine love you, but I feel like you're going to know. Look, with the knight of swords, charging forward. This masculine going to charge in to get that babe, fuck. What you thought, divine film? Look, five of wands, they like, uh-uh. Any competition that's in a way, this divine masculine could feel like there is competition for wands to compete. Like, they want to know who coming over your house with the justice card here, who else you dealing with. You know, not even that. More so just six of cups wanting to come back to you. It's just like, they got something to say. Three of wands. Now, Divine Femme, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, Divine Femme. Here you go, looking out. Looking out the window and shit. Looking to see if my Divine Masculine on their way. Like, I'm probably about the third or fourth reading you to heard her say, well, Divine Masculine on their way, Divine Femme. And you looking out the window like, but I ain't ready, though. You conceal in the fact that you waiting on them. You waiting on this Masculine. You like, well, if they come... I'm ready. House smelling good, candle lit and shit. Five of swords in reverse. You're not even gonna fight it with the hair pot. You like if this if this masculine just come in and wanna be my bae and just wanna be my person. Go on ahead. If they really own something with me, go on ahead. Come on, I'm ready. I'm waiting with the temperance card. You like I'll forget the masculine. I feel like you are. Smash the like button if that's you. You coming in as the Empress. Coming in again. So this is about you. Let's see. With the Hermit card. Damn. So you go MIA. You go as far as to even pull back. You may shine light on this masculine's uh, toxicities when they come in. Let me see. Will of Fortune. It's kind of energy, like, don't be too hard on this masculine. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of go with the flow still. Because I feel like it's all going to pan out. Everything that you have learned thus far that's is prepared you for this. Okay, let me pull some more cards. With the Page of Cups here, definitely an offer coming in. Let's see. Tell us more, Spirit. What's going to happen with this Divine Masculine? Ace of Swords, they're going to come in and tell you some old truth. So, look, if they haven't already came and told you some truth, Spirit is saying love bomb. I ain't want to go there. But if they come and they, they already told you some truth, they're about to tell you some more. Okay, with the chariot car here. Literally drive into your house. They can have a white or a black car. Why well, I hear Mitsubishi? 
look, just take it how it resonates, okay? I ain't saying they driving to Mitsubishi, okay? All I'm saying is I heard Mitsubishi. Here we go, the hair of fine, okay? So they gonna get to telling you a truth. Like, I wanna be with you. Like, let's be together. This person may even, well, let's see. Let me pull one more. Damn, with the Knight of Cups, they may give you a ring or something, or they may, like, propose. They they definitely come and bearing a gift. For sure, they bearing a gift. With the Five of Swords here, they want to let you know in reverse that they're willing to fight for this connection. And, like, they don't, they don't, they not doing shit sneaky. Like, they, they want you to know that they being honest with you 100%. And they going to give you a cup. And they going to ask you, like, you know, will you take my offer? You know, with the seven of wands here, they're going to defend, you know, what they believe for sure. Coming in as the king of pentacles, this masculine could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, I am seeing Aries here. I see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, there's the tower card comes in abruptly. It may even be like you could even be a little hesitant, you know, and then as masculine, they show you a side of them. Like, that you know that they not playing around with you. That they want you. Period. Look, six of cups. And now y'all right back in each other's arms. Nine of swords. This masculine is losing sleep over this. But like I told you, they playing it cool. With the three of pentacles, they want to work back with you again. They want to collab with you. And they really heartbroken. Behind the scenes, this masculine is so heartbroken without you. But they act like they not. They act attached and aloof. But it's a front. Four pinnacles. Now this is talking about release. Nine of cups. Because if they release you, they're going to release what it is that they truly want. That's why they're heartbroken. That's why this person is in the nine of swords energy. Losing sleep. Okay, then this is hidden, but it will be revealed to you, Divine Film. Okay, and enjoy the moment, boo, when it comes. Look, should I leave the comments open so you could tell me what happened? Because I'm all for it. Okay, the bottom deck is surrender. Okay, there is an energy of surrender here release and surrender all control and let nature take its course. Okay. Because there are some synchronicities that's about to take place. Strong synchronicities, okay? Allow the magic to unfold as synchronistic events lead you in a new direction. I feel like you're not expecting this, okay? Because you have limiting beliefs. I can't make this shit up. I'm not going to lie to you, Divine Fam. This situation calls for reprogramming your belief system. Come out of that lack. Okay, whatever lack little tidbits is left over, you feeling it's not going to work out because it is. This person about to come in. They're about to fight for this connection. They're about to show you. They're about to surprise the fuck out of you. Okay, it's going to be very pleasant. And I want you to enjoy this to a T. Haven't we been through enough, Divine Film? Or no? You finish or no? You finish or you done? Mirror. Everything that is happening in your external life is a reflection of your inner world, okay? I feel like you need to focus more on nourishing yourself, okay? You're being asked to take time out for self-care so you can prepare yourself to be loved on, baby, okay? First, you got to love on yourself so you can be able to even accept love, you know? You got to give it to yourself, and then you allow others to love you. And then you will know how you want to be loved even, right? Here we have the void. A lot of fours here. You could be seeing four, four, four. Um, ascending masters are with you. you. Your intuition could be booming right now, guiding you to do different things, to self-care, you know, to really fully embody that empress energy when this masculine comes in. Because maybe you're not going to know. That's what, the, that's what the tower is here. You're not going to know. That this is happening. It's just going to happen. Okay? It says, you may be covering up the emptiness or the pain within through an addiction. Okay? Now, I'm not out here to judge you. Never. But have you been a little pissed off lately? Have you been a little short-tempered lately? I mean, have, like, some, you've been covering up the pain from this situation with this masculine. 
It's like I said, you awaiting this masculine to come and pursue you. That's what I'm seeing. If you're not, check out my playlist, okay? But the divine feminine I'm tapping into, you waiting for this masculine to come. And they going to come. But are you going to be ready when they come? Hell no, you're not, even if you prepare. But the whole idea is for you to surrender, okay? And know how. And be balanced and ready when this masculine come in and love on you, boo. Because I, like I said... I want you to relish in this moment, okay? It's been a long time coming. So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more Divine Feminine Reads, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Until then, peace and love.